Okay, we now have the mega killer question. Now, oh, I don't think this is actually too bad um, for the final question. Um, I've seen a lot worse. Uh, so it gives you some information. Let's just break it out. So it's step one of read off reaction take place. We need to add the correct number of electrons here. So let's figure this out. Manganese there is in plus four oxidation state, and there is in plus six oxidation state. So it's changed by two, so it must have lost two electrons there. Uh, chlorine there is in oxidation state plus five, and is there as minus one. So that's actually changed, that's gone down by six. So I must have added six electrons to that one. The equilibrium position can be shifted by bubbling for this one, bubbling carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide gas from the mixture. Suggest with an aid of an equation how the equilibrium position shifts. Okay, so this may kind of freak you out, but it's not actually too bad. Let's have a think. So I've got the carbon dioxide. Shannon, no okay, from GCD. That's going to react with water to form um, H2CO3, carbonic acid. Um, obviously, if you've got an acid there, that's going to react with hydroxide ions, isn't it? To give me water plus CO3 to minus, like so. So therefore, I have removed hydroxide ions from the equilibrium, which means it will shift to the right-hand side to replace or replenish the hydroxide ions that have been used up in this reaction here. And then we all know it's coming, it is a maxi one. Now again, this isn't too bad. Um, it's pretty much just a standard redox uh, titration. It's even given me the equation. So what, what have we got? Well, first of all, um, I've got an impure sodium sulfite uh, sample. Make it up to 100 centimetres, uh, 100 centimetres cubed. What am I going to do? Well, first of all, we all do it. Moles of MnO4 minus. I have got a concentration and I've got a volume. So it's 26.2 over 1,000 times 0.0220. Moles is therefore going to be 5.24 times 10 to the minus 4. Look at your reaction for two of those, you get five of those. So moles of SO3 to minus is going to be that number divided by 2 times by 5, and that's going to give you 1.31. 3. Remember that's in 25 centimetres cubed. The original solution was 100. So in so I need to do four times 1.31 times 10 to the minus 3, which gives me 5.24 times 10 to the minus 3 in 100 centimetres cubed. Uh, and then it is just pretty easy. All you've got to do, that's giving you the moles, you've got to convert that into a mass. To do that, you just times by the molar mass of uh, sodium sulfite. So the mass of Na2SO3 is going to equal 5.24 times 10 to the minus 3 times the molar mass of sodium sulfite, which is 126.1. That gives me 0.611 grams. And therefore, your percentage purity is 0.661 over the original sample, which is 0 0.2, sorry, 720 times 100, which comes to 91.8%. And that's it for this paper.